Hello, my quilting friends. My name is Leah Day, and welcome to episode 134 of the podcast. And today we're going on a little tour of the basement. Uh, this is in 360. It's kind of a new camera that I'm playing with. Josh got it for me for Christmas. Hadn't had a chance to play with it. And I am embracing distraction a little bit and playing with some stuff like this 360 camera just to help me not have to focus on this renovation. As you can see, this has gotten a little crazy and this basement is feeling less and less like my house and almost like somebody else's house. That's kind of, it's what it's feeling like. So this is what formerly was my kitchen studio, basement kitchen. Uh, as you can see, we've lost some walls ripped out that uh, back wall in preparation for a window that should be coming in later this week. Uh, the laundry room, you know, it's just, it's, yeah, it's just kind of gotten total. And dad's tools are just all over the place. I think I'm going to pull out some boxes today and be like, dad, clean up your tools <laughs> and wash your dryer from the laundry room. We're kind of in the middle of the room. We have to get everything ripped out now uh, all at once for the drain system to come in. So, yeah, this is what we've been preparing. Josh and Dad have been mostly running this. So here is the den, Josh's big fish tank. There used to be a wall behind that fish tank. Now there's not. Let me click off this dehumidifier. Uh, had some more water in the vase, and I'll tell you that story in a second. Uh, so, yeah, kind of this has been opened up now uh, because the drain system is going to come across the back wall. So had to rip and open up to the side, you know, to the studs basically, and have at least 18 inches open. Hot water heater had to move. So right now I can walk through, it's like there's a hallway against the back wall of my house. This was not how it was before. So now we're in the pipe room and uh, yeah, so we had to move the shelves and get them out of the way and everything's kind of gotten all jumbled up and chaotic, you know. I finding stuff right now is pretty challenging. Josh and I are just making the best of it. He's packing as best as he can. Uh, and yeah, we're still, we're still shipping and packing through all of this. Um, through there is the bathroom. We're gonna go through the normal way though, go out through the doorway to the pipe room and into the office. And I'll click on some more lights so you guys can see. Josh and dad ripped this back wall in the office yesterday. And thankfully that was really easy um, this is where I used to have my, my desk set up facing that back wall. Uh, sorry if this is a little bit weird, just a little quick tip about 360. You guys can grab, can actually click on the computer screen and rotate the view around. So you can see all around me. If you can't see what I'm talking about or looking at right now, just click and drag or tap the screen and rotate it around. To be honest, I'm still getting used to 360 and playing with it and learning more about it. It's really, really fun. It's kind of crazy. Um, I think a VR quilting class would be kind of cool. I mean, who knows? Looks like we've taken the light bulbs out of here. The bathroom is now gutted. Yay. <laughs> this bathroom has been so, it just, I absolutely hated this bathroom for so long. Uh, so to see it down to this point is awesome but still a long way to go, obviously. The tile, unfortunately, was tiled right up against the cement block, which means it nearly permanent. I mean, it is really, really hanging on. So I don't know how the guys are gonna get that off if we're even going to get it off. As you can see, trying to keep the office as normal as possible. And you know, here behind me, all the shelves and products and stuff. Uh, needing to move the books. Actually, Josh and I are going to work today to kind of start clearing some of the stuff out, taking it out to the crafty cottage. Because um, when the guys come in with jackhammers, but basically what they're going to do is they're going to run jackhammers up the side of this wall, across the entire back wall of the house, and then down to the furnace which you can actually see from here, which is not normal at all. It's gonna come down to the furnace and stop there, and then there's gonna be a sump pump installed. And so basically all of that ground, you know, that concrete from the wall to about 10 inches out is gonna get broken up, and then a new drain system is gonna be installed. And yeah, that's gonna create a lot of dust and a lot of chaos. The freezer's gotta move. It's still a lot of things that need to go around, but I mean, the, the hardest thing is just that it's such an intense level of rip out. So 
I am embracing distraction, and that's the topic of this podcast today. I hope you'll join me for that. Uh, I'm going to share with you how I'm kind of (laughs) distracting myself from the craziness a little bit. And I think that's a good thing. I think when you have stuff like this going on and it's just so much, stepping away from it for a little bit and disengaging from it a little bit, I think it's a good thing. So I have escaped outside to the crafty cottage and I am working on my dream big panel, getting this quilted up and ready to go for our quilt along, which is starting on Friday. And this has kind of been my mainline distraction (laughs) through all of this remodel, all of the craziness going on downstairs. I have just decided to double down on the Dream Big Quilt Along to really focus in on how I can make that absolute best it can be. And I ended up writing a whole little guide on how I'm quilting it um, with tips and tricks on rulers and um, and then my plan for what I'm going to be doing afterwards. I'm not going to put binding on this and just finish it as a quilt. I don't need another quilt of this size. I don't need another wall hanging. I don't need another baby size quilt. It's 44 inches or so. Um, But I do need another quilted jacket. So that, you know, it's kind of a weird thing to want to do with a dream big panel or a quilt. And you're going to need, if you decide to do that too, you're going to need to quilt multiple of them, like two or three, depending on your size and your pattern. Uh, So yeah, I just decided, you know, this is, I'm making it for me. Uh, This is what I want to get out of it. And if you're interested in that too, then win-win, right? And I need to say yes to making the thing that I want to create rather than necessarily making what is absolutely the easiest thing to make. So I went on ahead and wrote up all of these instructions and stuff, and I decided to turn it into a little guidebook. And it's going to be the Dream Big Guide. I'm still finishing it up today. I'm crossing my fingers that it will be ready for you on Wednesday when this podcast comes out. It will be at leahday.com slash dream guide. And 100% optional, guys, you don't have to pick up the dream guide if you don't want to. It's certainly not a requirement to follow along with the quilt along. It's simply going to include um, all of the patterns that we're going to learn together, the petals that I am stitching those designs into. So if you want to make an identical quilt to mine, then the guide is going to guide you along the way of making that. And then um, it'll also include extra information, how to get started, materials list, all that good stuff. And then I've written an extra materials list and information if you want to make a jacket or a garment. Because as I started, you know, digging into this and really, you know, deciding to to double down and make something for myself, I realized, you know, there's a lot of extra steps to making a quilted garment. It's easy to take those steps for granted. Um, You know, a lot of things that I know how to do and steps that I would take that, yeah, I just don't think about them in the whole grand scheme of things. So I wrote all of that out. And then now today I'm going in and I'm going to finish up this panel and then cut out the pieces. And I should explain, this is not going to include a jacket pattern. I'm going to write this so that you can use any commercial jacket pattern that's available. So in this case, I'm using Butterick 4610 as my pattern. It's a cute little, it's kind of a fun little jacket, Um, kind of a single button jacket with a double collar and some little pockets on the front. I think it's going to look really cute. And I made a test garment even um, just to make sure that this was going to fit well because you... The, trust me, the last thing you want to do <laughs> is slice up your panel and then sew a garment that doesn't fit. That would be that would be really, really, really bad. So yeah, I had to make a test garment. I've included instructions on doing that. If you have to adjust the fit, I'm going to include resources for helping you adjust the fit as far as learning more about that. It's not really my expertise. I can do it, but I haven't taught it. So I Yeah. (laughs) So I'm going to reference some information and classes that you can take or some books that I recommend. Um, But then I'm going to share just my step by step. And I'm working on this today and going to cut out a sleeve and make some photos and do all of that. So to finish off the dream big guide. So again, yeah, I think (sighs) embracing the distraction of this whole crazy house stuff. And in a way, kind of escaping from that out to the crafty cottage and deciding, you know, I'm going to make this quilt along the very best I can uh, and add value to it by writing this guide. I think all of that was really, really good. And it makes me feel good because I feel like I can, if I can't do anything else, you know, and I can't really, you know, influence or make the stuff in the house go faster, 
in the very least I can do this. I can focus in on this. I can do my very, very best. And I think that's a positive. I really do. So yeah, be looking forward to that. Dream Big Quilt Along starts on Friday. Cannot wait. And what else has been going on? This is gonna be kind of a short podcast, guys, because I, yeah, like I said, just crazy, crazy busy. And this part of the podcast here in the Crafty Cottage is not in 360 because that video, that little clip that I just shot and downloaded, that took two hours <laughs> to fiddle with. This is the thing about distraction. Playing with 360 has been a distraction in and of itself. Getting my um, computers, which are fairly new, to work with that footage is like everything slows down. It's like you know, um, like I said, time monsters. It's like time monsters keep eating my computer every time I want to play with 360. It's so much fun, but yeah, I have to be careful about how much I use for that. Um, so mini block Monday tutorial shared this Monday is star puzzle block. You can find this linked up at leahday.com slash mini. This uses all half square triangles, super, super cute block in greens. I did light green and dark green. But you know, I was thinking about it, this could also make a really nice Christmas block if you did red and white. Um, it also could be patriotic if you did blue corners, then you could, you know, you could do red, white, and blue. I think that would be really nice. So star puzzle, you can find that at leahday.com slash mini. And of course, our monthly project this month is our Easter basket. This uses two mini blocks, and I've gotten a lot of questions about this particular mini block. I'm calling this Leah's Carolina Lily, because it's kind of a, it's a change up of a Carolina Lily, which should be done with uh, diamonds, with actual diamonds cut out, and I wasn't gonna go there with a the mini. <laughs> I'm not trying to, I'm trying to stay away from anything that requires templates, anything that requires a printed pattern. Uh, I, everything that I, with these mini blocks, I want it to be able to be cut from a square, from a rectangle, or a triangle. That's it. So yeah, this block is coming up later on in March. I promise it is coming soon. I've had a lot of requests for it, um, but it is coming soon. It's just gonna be another Monday in March. So just be looking for that. And it does include a little instruction on how to do the stem, which is, um, it is hand embroidery. That was, yeah, stitching up a notch, I love it. So yeah, that's coming up soon. If you wanna make an Easter basket like this, you can find it two different ways. It's a pattern. You can find it at leahday.com slash basket. That is where you can find the pattern. Just buy it, download it, and start making your basket. That would be great. The other place that you can find it is part of our Quilt Friends Club. You can join the club and then all of our monthly patterns are included in that membership, so no extra cost. You can join in the club at quiltfriends.club. And a special thank you to our new members, Marilyn, Drusilla, Donna, Rose, Ellen, Diane, Carolyn, and Angela. Thank you guys so much for joining in the fun. And we always have a weekly giveaway for Quilt Friend Club members. And this week's giveaway is Bungalow, a pack of fat quarters from my friend Amy Gibson. And this is gonna go to Annette Fry. So congratulations, Annette. Josh will be shipping you this this week. And yeah, like I said, sorry guys, short and sweet this week. Um, just trying to get the work done, <laughs> trying to get stuff done, trying to, you know, uh, and that there's a lot of other distractions going on behind the scenes. I'm gonna wait to tell you about them until a little bit more is a little bit more solid, but I'm just gonna give you a little sneak peek. I may be renting space in town. Actually, I am renting space in town meaning there might be a place for you to come and visit me as in like a store, but I don't wanna give away any more than that because it's still very much early days and fiddling with stuff and that office is actually still being worked on now too. So, so it's like construction everywhere. And yeah, I'm just, I'm allowing the distraction in to small degrees and then trying to focus in on what I can do best and what I can really, what I can make beautiful, you know? Everything else is just kinda just so messy and dusty and gross and I'm trying to make something beautiful out of it and it's not easy, but I'm trying my best, I really am. So I hope that you enjoyed this podcast and playing with 360, being able to pan around and see the whole messy basement. I thought that was kinda cool, but um, you know, I know 360 is not for everybody. So next week we will have a back to a normal podcast uh, hopefully have something more to tell you about our new space. 
So be looking forward to that. Please find more podcast episodes at leahday.com slash podcast. Please share the video, like it, post a comment, thumbs up, any of those weird things you can do under all of the videos. <laughs> it helps me out a lot, most especially sharing the video that helps me out the absolute most. So thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, let's go quilt.